That's right, Wyatt Earp, Doc Holliday, and now Java Chihuahua all made their name in Tombstone. No spurs, no gun belt, but he's a cowboy. All right, Josh, show us around. So I actually came here on my own about a week ago, had so much fun that I said, you know what? I'm just gonna turn around and drive Jaw out here. So here he is walking down the main streets of Tombstone. Walking in front of the Birdcage Theater, one of the most haunted places in the world. I think he wants to go in, hang out with the old timers. Wow, good eye, Jaw. He noticed this. I didn't see this last time I was here. This whole Christmas display. <laughs> Reindeer on a wagon. Giraffes on a wagon. Got some stagecoaches back here. Check that out. That's a good little gimmick. Jaw, you need to get a mailbox so you can do that too. He's uh, checking everything out. Making sure we get to see everything. Honest and accurate reporting. <laughs> Boy, is Jaw gonna be in for a surprise when he sees the coach and horses. He loves horses. Walking around like he's been here before. Now Jaw's leading us over to what was the most deadly corner of the West one time. Right here. See, there's the Oriental Saloon. Some gunfighters. This is it, the gunfights inside. The Oriental Saloon is just about to start, folks. Ja, check out the Christmas tree. Crystal Palace. Oh, there we go. Oh, of course he's walking right over to Big Big Nose Kate's saloon. <laughs> we took Ja to Bisbee and he had his first bar experience and now he loves it, I guess. What great stained glass windows, huh? Take us to the OK Corral, Ja. can see it right down here at the end of the road. We're taking the same path that Morgan, Virgil, Wyatt Earp, and Doc Holliday would have taken that day. Maybe John and I will have to go get some old time photos taken together. Because I don't think he can go into the gunfight. All right, John, let's get an old time photo. Check out the photo we just took here. So there's our photo. <laughs> It fits in an 11 by 14 and it was about 30 bucks with everything included. But I think what we're going to do with this is uh, I tried to get some postcards made for my Patreons for Christmas and the artist didn't come through. I think we're going to use this, me and Ja. We just nicknamed him Dog Holiday. <laughs> come on, Dog Holiday. See, there's the OK Corral. Well, that's where you pay to go in. They have it in a... Uh, it's kind of like a live gunfight thing that you pay for. If you want to see that, go to my channel, Days with Jordan the Lion. We'll walk over to where the, the actual corral is. That's kind of cool. They built a Whoville for the Grinch here. Look at this, you can walk right through it. Ja, take us through Whoville. Fifteen days till Christmas when we're filming this. They turned Tombstone Park into the North Pole South. Little shopping village for Christmas. It looks like there's some live music in the gazebo there. You having fun there, Jaw? Your Wild West experience? So literally right on the other side of this wall here where this sign is, is the official site where the gun battle was. The Earp Brothers and 
Doc Holiday. And then here's Fly's photo gallery where uh, they were all in the back lot waiting for the herbs. And Doc had a room in here. You can see here it says Fly's photo gallery where his photo art was displayed and sold. Mrs. Fly also operated a rooming house in the same site in the early days of Tombstone. Yep, Doc Holliday was originally a dentist. Right up here we're coming upon Puny John's Barbecue. Can you trust a man who is puny that makes barbecue? I don't know. John, you feel like going to the Shady Lady? Great old architecture, huh? Gotta love it. Look at this art. I think that's supposed to be Doc Holliday. Or Val Kilmer is Doc Holliday up here. Show them the nativity scene. There it is. <laughs> Inflatable nativity scene. There's Doc Holliday's saloon. Jaws inside the birdcage theater right now. The lobby, now, also anyway. at the casino floor, you're gonna know. And this one's service tombstone. You look right over here, this is the hole from a 45 caliber. That slug is still in that post to slash just below her knees with her skirt. Now, in the beginning, I was saying that this building survived the fire of 1881 that destroyed 66 buildings in tombstone, and the fire of 1882 that destroyed 101 buildings here. All right, dude, what'd you think of your first trip to tombstone? Huh, dog holiday? Well, we hope you all enjoyed this. We'll see you all later. Goodbye.